we're here to see Ronald. He's kind of the, the Cinderella story of VPAN right now. Um, he was living on the street for a while, uh, him and his uh, fiance, and we were able to link up with him. And just working with him, our partners at the VA, uh, some of our community-based organizations, we were able to get them housed and get it done pretty quickly. So we're here to just do a quick check-in on them. Hey, Jessica. Hey. How are you? Hey, Ronald, how's it going? Hey, how are you? Oh, yeah, it's man. great seeing you, my man. Great seeing you. How you been? All right. You know, so VPAN is it's really just a network of services. We're not a program. We're a network of services for veterans by veterans, right? So I'm a Marine Corps vet, and uh, Ronald's an army uh, is an army vet. This helped us bridge this uh, this gap in trust. I was a, a lead instructor at an IT school, uh, a college, and uh, COVID happens. You know, enrollment numbers dropped month after month, and they had to lay off a bunch of people. And after that, you know, my life fell apart. You know, uh, my my ex-wife left, and so it was me. And I was raising three kids, which, uh, you know, lost a house, lost a car, and lo ended up losing custody of the kids, uh, ended up homeless on the street. You know, I was I was I felt like I was at the end of my rope. You know, I felt like before I had seen some level of success. I wasn't rich or anything, but I had a fulfilling career. I was teaching people. I was happy, you know, I was moving up in life. Uh, and it, things were going so well. And then like that, everything was gone. Here at VPAN, we were created to help veterans and military family member with low barriers. So essentially anybody who has served in the military, even if it was one day or just boot camp, then we will admit them to our program and provide services that they need. I'm not a veteran, but I'm married to one. My husband served in the U.S. Army for, for nine years. I'm what folks will tend to call like a military spouse. The DMH VPAN team, they're true experts with housing veterans that if today we uh, find a veteran that needs shelter, we almost immediately can house them. Since VPEN started seeing clients in January of 2021 to present day, they've seen about 10,000 clients, which resulted in about 28,000 requests for services. I think if, if I had been dealing with somebody who wasn't a veteran, things would have been much different. It is kind of like a little standoffish. I had met s some people from a different organization, and I, it, they want, they had the desire to help, but they just don't understand the same, you know, as, as a battle buddy, who's somebody who's been through it, you know. This idea of battle buddy, you know, it's actually a military thing where you're teamed up with somebody and, you know, we think about just one other person. So just knowing that there's somebody with you at all times that always has your back, you know, that's the general idea behind a battle buddy. We know accessing the VA there are a lot of great resources there, but it's hard to access those resources. And a lot of people give up. But when you have a battle buddy that has your back, who's actually been through that fight before, um, we're able to go through and, 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 for lack of better terms, hold their hand, you know, kind of guide them through that process. We're there with them every step of the way. My, my biggest piece of advice that I ever learned was find your reason. Find your reason to keep going and to, to make it to that path. That's what saved me. Uh, I found my reason. My reason happened to be Jessica, taking her to our doctors. That led me to a veteran center that led me to VPAN, that led me to the people that were willing to help. But then when they are willing to help, it's a two-way street. They'll do everything they can to help you, but you gotta help yourself. Mm -hmm.